Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll remove duplicate items from a list. Start by selecting the entire list or a single cell within the list. Next, navigate to the Data Remove Duplicates command icon. Within the Remove Duplicates dialog box, confirm the My Data Has Headers checkbox is checked and click OK. Excel confirms the number of duplicates found and removed, as well as the number of remaining unique items. Easy enough. Let's move on. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll remove duplicates from a table. Start by selecting the entire table or a single cell within the table. Click the Remove Duplicates ribbon icon. In this exercise, we define a duplicate row as any row where all three column values match. So, in the Remove Duplicates dialog, we confirm that all three columns are checked. Click OK and Excel removes the duplicate rows. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll use the Remove Duplicates feature to help generate a formula-based report. We want to build a report on the Exercise 3 worksheet. The data for the report is located on the E3 data sheet. The report should summarize the data by vendor ID, represented by the VID column. Since this requires a list of the unique vendor IDs, we'll copy and paste the VID column and then remove duplicates. We select the VID column and then do a standard copy. We flip to the report sheet, then we do a standard paste. Next, we remove the duplicates by heading to Data Remove Duplicates. We click OK and BAM! We are left with the unique vendor IDs. To make this workbook easy to update in future periods, let's convert the data to a table. We flip to the data sheet and insert table. We'll name the table TBL underscore data. Now on the report sheet, we just need to use the SUMIFS function to build the report formulas. Equal SUMIFS. The first argument is the column of numbers to add, or the amount column. We type the first few letters of the table's name, TBL underscore, and then tab to insert. Open the square bracket and select the amount column. Tab to insert and close the structured table reference with the closing square bracket. Comma, and the next argument is the criteria range, or the VID column. TBL underscore, open the square bracket, select the VID column, and then a closing square bracket. Comma, and then the criteria value, the report's vendor ID in B15. Close paren and enter. Looks good. Double click to push it down, and hey, the report looks good. When building a formula-based report, I love to use this feature to generate a list of unique values, and I hope it'll help in your work as well. This video is a production of Clicky